hate crime is one of those offenses that has a deep impact on victims um, and also the communities that they come from and, and other people who might share protected characteristics. So for example, a racist attack on one person will negatively um, affect uh, other people who might come from that ethnic minority group and will affect their confidence to live free lives in society. Um, one of the reasons why it's so important to focus on it is because it's actually quite underreported. Uh, many victims don't feel confident to come forward and tell the police what happened. And so it's up to us to really support them to report to us so we actually know the nature and the scale of the problem. First of all, it's important for victims of hate crime to know it's not their fault. They do have the right to protection. Um, and I guess uh, we would try to encourage victims to report uh, to the authorities and also to seek help maybe from civil society organizations. Any state agency, such as the police or prosecutors, when there is a new law or when the state has recognized that hate crime is a problem, they need to be equipped to, say in the police case, they need to be equipped to effectively investigate hate crime cases. Or if the, it's the prosecutors, they need to have the right training to build successful hate crime cases. And so it's very important that, um, that this training is drawn upon and, for example, ODIA has uh, police and prosecutor training that is available on request from the participating states, if that's what they'd like. Well, you know, sometimes it's not easy to stand up to, say, intolerance or prejudice um, that's right in front of us. It could come from a family member or a friend, and it can make us feel uncomfortable to challenge that. But it surely is probably our, our responsibility to find a way to challenge people who maybe say, say a racist statement or homophobic statement and to find ways to have open the conversation and explain why these statements and these attitudes can harm people and damage and cause damage. So I would suggest that people try and tackle it in their own family and in their own lives as well as beyond.